Hi, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm here with Athena. And as you may or may not know, I'm a really big fan of Super Smash Bros. Also, I apologize for the image quality. It, it, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm a big fan of Smash Bros. And when I realized that the new game for the Switch may not actually be a port, I got very excited. Now, whether or not it's a port or a new game or a Smash 4.5, it does have new characters. So, you know, regardless of any of that, it's going to have new stuff and that's going to be awesome. So now I figure I jump on the freaking bandwagon and make a video about characters that I want to see. Some of these characters you may not have heard of, others you may not have considered, and one of them I actually find pretty embarrassing, but it's the kind of embarrassing where you still want to show it to people. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start off um, with probably the um, best known to today's gamers character. Impa from The Legend of Zelda. Upside, another Legend of Zelda character. Downside, another Legend of Zelda character. <laughs> the biggest downside to her, though, is that all of her movesets, including her weapons, would be gotten from Hyrule Warriors. I love Hyrule Warriors, and I'm very excited about that port. I want them to add the Guardians or the, the champions, rather. Add some, add some guardians to beat the crap out of those. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, she uses a Naginata in a game full of sword wielders. That would be amazing. She's the Sage of Darkness, but her weapon is water-based. I, I don't know why. You could get a lot of her old outfits for... Imagine, like... No, I'm not going to add an HTML file. Uh, imagine, like, this outfit, this outfit. All of these adapted for her, um, her more modern sprite. I mean, you could even... Oh God, I keep clicking on the wrong things. You could even, if you wanted, add, you know, something based on her super-duper old self. I mean, that was how she was first introduced, based on her really young self. I have to open these individually. Based on her fat self. So yeah, uh, you would have you would not want for alternate costumes. And like I said, being a um, Naginata wielder would set her apart in a field full of sword wielders, including, well, I guess Zelda isn't really a sword fighter, even though she is in Hyrule Warriors. Oh, you're getting all covered up there, aren't you? There we go. But yeah, she's really cool. She moves around the battlefield with ease. She has this cool sliding move. I think she'd be really fun to play as. So yeah. <laughs> And I mean, also look at look at that design. That that is awesome. Another one, um, and uh, this one, this one, I am getting into the territory of none of you fuckers are going to know who this is. This is stock from Radiant Historia, as you probably don't know. They just got a re-release of this game called Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Now, if you like Super Nintendo style RPGs, you're gonna love this game. It is amazing. It was on the DS, now it's on the 3DS, and stock, I could not find any pictures of um, his actual moves. However, here's better shot of his. He's quite handsome. <laughs> and, uh, there. I couldn't find any pictures of his actual moves. Here's his re-released look. But he has a wide variety of moves, and it would be interesting if they could manage to 
make the grid-based combat. It's turn-based, but it's grid-based. So it's really it's really a neat mix, and it flows very naturally. It'd be interesting if they could do that, although they probably wouldn't. Um, he has a lot of attacks that can drain from the enemy and restore his health. He has attacks that knock opponents back or up or down or whatever. So it's, it's I think it would be really cool, but nobody played that game. You should. You should. You really freaking should. You owe it to yourself to play something awesome. Uh, I, I couldn't even find Radiant Chronology in stores. I... <sighs> I had to get it directly from the eShop because nobody sells it. Now, this one is going to be the most obvious if you know me. Because this is Tara Branford from Final Fantasy VI. I mean, yes, we have Cloud. But Cloud was not on a Nintendo system until the Theat Rhythm games. So, Terra. She's probably the best known of the pre-7 heroes. I mean, then there's Cecil, then there's Warrior of Light. Right, girl? <clears throat> there's a parrot right in your face there. Terra is awesome. I would love to play as her in Smash. Um, she, again, has some um, really nice alternate outfits. You could just do more of straight up Amano, and I know that's what her Dissidia is more based on. Uh, you could do uh, her blue outfit from Dissidia. Oh, that actually looks really nice up against my screen like that. <laughs> um, I do... Her, this is, well, that's basically this outfit. But, you know, you could do, um, <laughs> now this uh, would kind of be amazing if they actually did this. But um, you could even do a color scheme based off of Kefka. That would be awesome. I mean, come on, if Cammy White can have an M. Bison costume. You know, why not? Um, but Terra's final smash is pretty much built right in. I mean, when you have... Forget this one. Why isn't it letting me select that and move it around? There we go. When you have a character who has an alternate super-powered form, you go Esper. She also has Riot Blade, which is an awesome move, but Desperation attacks literally like the pre-limit break limit breaks. They just happen randomly. So, yeah. Anyway, Terra for Smash 2018. She would be freaking amazing. I'd also like to see maybe some of the other characters come in as um, support trophies. Imagine Edgar coming in with his chainsaw and hockey mask. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Especially if it's, you know, a little tiny 16-bit Edgar. All right. Now this next character, despite being an icon of the NES, has pretty much no chance. Because Simon Belmont is owned by Konami. And as we all know, Konami has lost their shit. The, 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 the amount of bad business decisions they have made is absolutely staggering. And I mean, there's a reason that Snake is no longer in Smash. I mean, even if they, I don't know if they even tried to get him back, but Konami would not let them. Let's face it, Konami has gone insane. They basically gave up on Castlevania. So, you know, if they gave Simon back to a company that could actually use him, it would be fantastic. And, you know, he has alternate outfits too. 
Uh, he has... He has his freaking goth outfit over here. His final smash could be Holy Cross, if they actually allowed that. Um, I actually don't remember if Simon ever actually used that move, but Alucard uses it in um, Symphony of the Night. You don't want to talk about graphics that still stand the test of time. I, I know that was on the PlayStation, but that is that game still looks phenomenal. Anyway, and... Okay. We're going to address the elephant in the room. Another alternate skin for him. <laughs> we are going to address the elephant. Because, why are we going to address the elephant? Why are we going to address the elephant? Because, my last choice for Smash, is Captain N. He'd be a gunner. He has his, uh, the power pad on his belt buckle there. I don't know if the less said about this, the better, or if I should talk more. <sighs> I told you it was embarrassing, and I told you it's the kind of embarrassing you want to share with others. Uh, <laughs> he, is, he is a Nintendo mascot, like it or not. And if Rob can make it in, who wasn't even on a game, he was a game, but he wasn't in, you know, you know what I mean. If Rob can make it in, then I think Kevin here can make it in. I think Nintendo is trying to pretend that he didn't exist. And, you know, with, um, with Pit and Mega Man... I, I think it would be hilarious, and especially if they were to finally add Simon. Um, like, <laughs> I mean, I am showing my age here, aren't I? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I warned you! I warned you! Oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, I guess I'm going to go. Those are my uh, top five picks for the next Smash game, whether it be Smash 5, Smash 4.5, just Smash 4 with new characters. Yeah, now, enjoy Gunner Kevin. In your head forever. <laughs> Tell me who you want to see in Smash and which, if any, of these characters you would want to see.